A great way to change the feeling of your space during the holidays is to change up your pillow covers. These are my pillow covers for the banquette for spring and summer, but during the winter season, I really love these plaid tones and this color. Love, 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 love. And I was flipping through some catalogs and I loved the pillows that had this beautiful edge on them. I love, it's just so simple, has a zipper, so easy, you just pop it in. And I looked at the price and I was like, oh my goodness, this is crazy. I went downtown and bought all the fabric for the price of one pillow. I know, crazy. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create your own pillow cover and maybe you can even do it for your bedroom pillows or whatever, but like I said, it's just a fabulous way to change up your space for the holidays. The first thing I'm gonna do is lay out my fabric. Now this is upholstery fabric, so it's 54 inches wide and it has a fuzzy side and a smooth side. And I've decided to use the smooth side as my outside of my pillow. Now what I like to do to cut pillows like these is I like to fold it over so that you only have to do two cuts. Now what I'll do is I'll match up the pattern here and I'll lay out my pillow. I'm gonna put these weights on the fabric so it doesn't slide around. Now I'm just gonna measure two and a half inches on each side from the base of the pillow out, and I'll just make a mark. Okay, my fabric is cut out. Now, I know how to put in a zipper, so what I'm gonna do is this is gonna be the back of the pillow. I'm gonna put the zipper a fifth of the way up. I'm gonna fold that down, and imagine that's my opening for my zipper. Obviously you need about a quarter of an inch and a quarter of an inch. So make sure that you tribute for that. And then just press that down with your fingers. Make sure you're nice and clean, no folds. Now I'm gonna pin this, fold this over about a half of an inch and mark it. I love working with a thicker plaid because it, the lines almost make themselves. So that's good, I'm gonna do the same exact thing here, folding it in. You're giving yourself space for your zipper now that you've got that mark, you're not gonna actually deal with that yet because you're gonna have to sew the sides. So mark your sides with pins. You don't need too many. I'm gonna pin this the same way on this side. We're pinned, our zipper is spoken for. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stitch along the side really close to the edge on both sides. get your corners pressed out. Now if you have a corner that you can't quite get out, just use the end of your scissors and poke it a little. And now I'm just gonna simply top stitch this together. So put it at the end of your presser foot, and then I've got mine on the six line. I might pin my zipper area right here, just so I don't deal, have to deal with that. And you're just top stitching to create that outer border. And that's the end of our corner. Now I've chosen to work with an invisible zipper and that means it has a really clean seam line. I have a really nice invisible zipper foot as well that gets really tight up in there. Basically, you're gonna put your zipper on the outside of the pillow and then fold that quarter of an inch that you already marked out for and then just pin that in place. First side of the zipper is attached. The only thing left to do is to mend this hole from putting the zipper in. I'm gonna change the foot back to your standard sewing machine foot, your presser foot.
All right, our zipper is in. I left that little overhang so it would really hide even better. And now we get to put in our pillow and see how it all works. And while it's open, you wanna spread the pillow out and make sure the corners meet up. All right, my pillow is done, and now my banquette is perfect and ready for the holidays. I love the warm fabric, and honestly, I could not have afforded to do all of these pillows from a store. It really saved a lot of money, and honestly, I did it in about 35 minutes. So if you wanna take some time and really spruce up your place for the holidays, try making your own pillows. Let me know if you guys like this. Thumbs up if you want more holiday or just home stuff. And don't forget, be a doll and subscribe. Bye.